got moist in my lips. I told y'all they'd be dry. Definitely got to moisten my lips. And I love this stuff. Carmax. Carmix, Carmax, whatever. I love it. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So what's up divas it's your girl and you guys know it's time for a makeup video so first of all let me just tell you guys this is kind of like a first impressions I have never used any of the stuff before never I just got it in the mail like a couple of days ago so um, what I'm thinking is they did send me like a lot of stuff for an entire face but there was some things that was missing from the package like my highlight and my pressed powder so of course I'm gonna use my own and I'm not really sure how I feel about eyeliner that's kind of like marker based um, because you guys already know I have like this huge issue with doing my eyes for eyeliner so I definitely will probably just use my own but let me just tell you guys first of all um, this is my hair it was wash day so I left it out to dry but anyway I'm gonna put it up in a minute so uh, the company that I got all of this nice stuff from, because it's nice, because it's makeup, and we all love makeup, is uh, by the brand called Sista. You know, you, know, you got to say it with like, kind of like a twist at the end. Sista, okay? They sent me a bunch of their stuff, and I'm just going to show you guys what I have real quick. And then we're just going to do like a first impressions kind of thing. Some foundation. This is the Skin Perfecting Liquid Foundation. So if you don't have perfect skin by the time this is over you might just so the color that I have is a tan color and I guess they know me so well because the color was like almost dead on like spot on but I like the bottle because it comes in a tube and despite the fact that it comes in a tube it also has a pump so I like that a lot you know I like stuff like this like seriously I do okay so I just turned on my ring light so just in case the Sun does say I'm about to step be all prepared so like I was saying like yeah so the brand is called sister this is the weightless long wear foundation skin perfecting too so like I said it has a pump which is cool I've never seen a foundation that was in a tube and actually has a pump like that's really cool and you can actually take it off too but I don't really want to do all of that seems like it's kind of hard to remove so we'll just bypass that so I did get a color in tan. They did send me some of their Dazzle Lash Long Lash Mascara. And this is the Long Lengthening. The packaging is really sleek. Everything seems to be black. And let's just see because you guys know I really like the bristles to be like the one to be big enough. So for me, this is good for like the lower lash. Like I like a really big brush on the top. But if you can see, it looks like this little kind of like whiskers on the front these are a little bit bigger and fuller but I do like the size of this mascara like you know it's not all thin and skinny it seems like you're getting a lot so I do like that one of these BB cushion foundations now let me tell you guys I know everybody has tried these out from all different brands I never got to try one and I always wanted to but it seems like every time I try to find a foundation like at the beauty supply store or not beauty supply store but the drugstore Girl, please, I always end up taking them back. They never match. My skin's so oily, it doesn't work. So I never went ahead and got one of these cushion foundations. But they did send me the color tan again. And first of all, when you open it, it has a mirror right here. And it has a little sponge. And then you flip it up on the side. And there you have it. There is the actual cushion sponge. So I'm really excited, somewhat excited. Like, you know, I guess you can't be so excited, but I'm really tempted to try this out. I was tempted to try it out when I got it, but I said I would just wait. You see? So I'm hoping that this works. I've never tried this and I don't even know should I use it with this or not. So we're going to see how this works out because I hate to put on my foundation and have to take it off because I screwed up. So we shall see uh, concealers which is great because a girl like to highlight and contour and all of their concealers come in these cute little kind of like bottles little wands lip gloss kind of like tubes so i did get a green one but i don't really use this one so much and i also did get the orange one also 
I don't seem to use this one either, so I'll just give this to my daughter Tati. I don't use the oranges and I don't use the greens. For some reason, the greens always just kind of like don't do anything for me, and so does the orange. So I did get the color ivory, which is perfect because you know it's going to be highlighted. And I also did get the color tan because you know I'm tan, so I think. And I also did get the color burnt cinnamon which would be perfect for my contour, okay? So I'll definitely give those a try during this video. These things here, now, be honest, I think I need seeing glasses because my eyes be squinting and they be hurting, y'all. Like, seriously, I'm thinking these are lip liner pencils because they don't say anything on them. It says eyeliner. Okay, so this one is an eyeliner. Gel eyeliner? No, this just can't be. Rose gold. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? This is a pretty color. I don't really think it would show up good on me as an eyeliner, so I would definitely put this on my lips. Auto Lip Liner, which is in the color Pink Punk. I told you guys, my eyesight, girl. This is like a really bright kind of pink, so I'm just going to swatch it because like y'all can see this far. Not only do that kind of pink, I'm not sure why, I just don't do it. I think I just kind of look like a Jazabelle. And then as for the regular eyeliner, like I was saying, this one is a marker pen, and I probably won't use it because it's just so hard for me to use them, but it is very black because I did try it. I mean, I'm going to give it a try, but there it goes right there. It's very wet. The one thing I don't like about these marker eyeliners is they dry out so fast, and I just, you know what, when I get used to it and I really start liking it, it just dries out so fast, and a girl be so upset. Like a lip gloss lip balm, which is in the color Rouge. I didn't think the color was going to be this dark and pigmented, for real. So this is not even like a lip gloss. This is more or less like a like a lipstick almost. Matte lip crown, okay? And I don't really know how I feel about lip crowns. I don't know. I get them all the time, and I'm always, like, so wanting to use them. But I don't. But this one is a plum color. And it's kind of moist. I hate anything that dries my lips out. Like, right now, my mouth is dry. My lips are dry. You guys know if I had some gum, I would be smacking away. And I also do have the matching lipstick as well, which is also plum. But the one thing about the lipstick, I will be honest and say, I don't really like it because it goes on like a lip gloss. It's very sheer. Um, it's not opaque and it's very kind of like greasy to me. So I don't really know about this lipstick. This pink one, which is plump peach. Yeah, they're very kind of like sheer. And then the last one is the chestnut chestnut jam okay so i would probably wear this one because it's not so dark it also did send me four eyeshadows which are really neutral they all come in their own little private casings cupid's wing champagne color okay mirage which is a very kind of like mauve color and they all have like a satin kind of finish to them so they're not like matte eyeshadows splendid brownie which is also like a kind of like satin eyeshadow well this is more or less you know what this is this, this brown one is more or less blended brownie is kind of like matte so we'll definitely use this one paradiso or paradiso which is kind of looks like the same one the first one which is a champagne this is more like a very peachy kind of gold color but i don't have a transition color for them so i did bring my own shadow palette into this to incorporate it along with some of my other things but like i said i did wash my hair um and I rewash it again today. So I let it air dry. So really, the only thing I'm going to do is just kind of like put it up. I've already combed through it, so it's not tangled in case y'all. And from here on out, I'm just going to silence the video so that way um, we can get through the video. Okay ladies, so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is just kinda like set my eyelids. So I'm just gonna use my matte um, Fix Plus, our matte pressed powder in the color NC42, okay? So I just do this because it just helps my lids because like I said, my skin is kinda oily on my face so it does get creased so it does help a lot. And just for my transition color, because I didn't get one, I'm going to go ahead and use this color here out of my one of my favorite palettes, I think you guys see me use it like a million times, and that's my Morphe palette. This is the matte palette, the 35OM matte palette. So I'm just going to use that color as my transition. As you guys can see, you can see the pan in this. So I do use a lot of these colors in this palette, but more or less, this color is my favorite because it is the one that transitions everything. So I'm going to go into this brown, and I'm going to give myself the most neutral eye look you can imagine, um, or I'm just going to try to 
combine bring tie in the colors that they sent me all together I really didn't want to use anything from my other palettes but you know I did need a transition color I do like a transition color so I'm just gonna take that brown and one of my favorite brushes which is one of those kind of like unicorn brushes it's really soft and works good and it kind of like blends really well too so that's why I like the brush but as you guys can see I did give you guys the nod I do like the brown it's a good pigmentation um, it's not too dark I don't really like the color brown to be too dark on my lids because then sometimes when I kind of like smoke it out it starts looking like mud so as you guys see I'm gonna soften the edges a little bit I didn't really like how it looked well it wasn't blended in all the way so I went back and blended it in and now it looks a lot better to me I do like the color though it came out really pretty and I'm gonna use this mauve color also it's more or less kind of like a sheen a frost a satin color more or less I don't do too many frosted or satin colors I'm more or less like that matte type of girl but for the most part it's a very pretty color they did tie in the colors very nicely they did send me some good colors that went well so yeah I'm just gonna pat it on with one of my dollar brushes from wet and wild and I'm gonna take that champagne color that they also sent me and I'm just going to place that on my brows okay now yeah I know I do need to tweeze my brows but listen hunty I'm really not trying to tweeze them too much because when I'm not wearing makeup I do like my brows to be there so for the most part I really conceal them really really well like I over conceal underneath there so you won't see any hairs but I do need to conceal I mean I do need to tweeze some of them because normally I do have less brow hair but I just totally forgot and then why the time I got to it hey so yeah so as for the marker eyeliner, like I said, I'm not really a huge fan of marker eyeliners. Um, at first, when they first came out, I kind of somewhat kind of did like them a little bit. But over time, you know, when you get used to using one particular thing, you don't really care for them too much. So I don't really like them too much. But, I mean, it worked out okay. Now, one of my favorite um, face primers is this one by Kiss. It is a pro professional. It's a matte primer. This is good if you have like oily skin. Um, it works just as well as that Becca primer. Um, to me, even better. So the first foundation I'm going to go into is their tubed one. This is in the color Honey. They sent me two in the color Honey. And I'm going to use my Eco Brush. This brush is amazing for foundation because it's very dense. So you can get yourself like a really good full coverage with just this brush right here. I don't even use my Beauty Blender anymore. Um, well, I do, but not for applying my foundation because I just find myself using more and also it doesn't give me like that full coverage so I just definitely like to use a brush that's very dense like this one you only need like one application sometimes you maybe need two but for the most part it just gives like the best flawless seamless application so for the most part the honey is um, okay I mean the tan color is okay it is more or less on the red tone and I'm a yellow tone so I'm just gonna blend it in but I really did want to try this like spongy foundation out so that's what I'm doing like I told you guys I was really excited about trying this out but I'm gonna be honest to tell you it wasn't really one of my favorites I think it has to do with just the application or applicator itself I'm more or less like a brush or a sponge so I really wasn't into patting myself so as you guys see I went back to using my brush just to blend that foundation out so in the end it kind of worked out as the same same colors more or less red tones um, I had to really blend it in and I do apologize for the lighting because of the Sun the clouds and the Sun keep going behind the clouds that's why I did close my windows and use my ring light but still I'm getting some light from the Sun so I do apologize now onto the concealer I did use the tan concealer and then I went in with the ivory concealer I do like to use two concealers at one time just because one will give me like a little bit more coverage and also one will light me up so I do like to use two I always do that with my concealers um, I'll do that with my LA girl pro concealer as well as just about any concealer that's just what I do so yeah now I do use my beauty blender by real techniques for this portion always every day and also I'm going to use my beauty blender real techniques with this I use the wet and wild face um, press powder as my setting powder I don't use like banana powder or Sasha buttercup because it gives me like this very yellowish kind of look so it doesn't work out in my favor so this color works best for me so I like to use the wet and wild it's cheaper but it also works really good for me so I just put it on let it sit for one minute and take it off now back to the concealer this is what I do on a normal basis and I only do this because my skin is very oily so kind of like my foundation and my concealer will kind of like 
wear off within a few hours so I do have to kind of like do an extra step which is foundation concealer pressed powder wipe off and then concealer again and then I'm good for the entire day and it won't wipe off it won't like vanish the oils in my skin won't eat it up so this is why I do two steps And for the most part, the concealer I really do like. I like the color that they sent me, especially the ivory color, because I do like it to be a little bit lighter underneath. But I will tell you my favorite concealer to conceal with underneath my eye, or the color is a yellow color. I love a good yellow color. So I guess it's because my skin tones are yellow, but I do like a good yellow color. That color always works like out amazing for me. And I'm also using their brown concealer on my cheekbones just to contour as well as my nose. And I do like it. I really don't do too much of a liquid or cream um, contour all the time. And when I do, I always use it kind of like as a base. So I will apply the cream or liquid concealer to my face for a contour first. And then I will apply my powder concealer over top of that. That concealer... Um, the liquid or cream really acts well as a base for my powder concealer. It just gives me more coverage and also it allows it to stick onto my oily skin a lot better. So unfortunately, I do have to take a couple extra steps because of my oiliness. But as you guys can see, I am using one of my favorite um, contour colors. And this is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. And this is the Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. You guys see me use this all the time. Like this is my favorite it's a perfect color I do like more or less warm colors for contouring and that's just me now I'm gonna go back into that brown and I'm gonna just smoke it out underneath my eyes I'm not going for anything too dramatic but I do love a good neutral eye look I love a good neutral eye look and I'm also gonna take that kind of like champagne color just to brighten up underneath the eye area a little bit Now it's time for their mascara. So as I said, I do like the wand for my mascara to be a little bit bigger. So I do like the wands to be small, especially for the bottom lashes. So definitely with this one, you can get full coverage. I did apply like three coats. I allowed each coat to dry. So that is the reason why they look so thick and full. That is how I do my lashes on the bottom all the time. I do about three coats. But in between coats, I do go from eye to eye and allow it to dry and then go back. But I do like the brush of this uh, mascara wand. It's really great for the bottom lashes. I've never had my lashes look that good. So yes, as you guys can see, I was kind of happy. Now to set it all together, I'm going to go back into my MAC pressed powder in the color NC42 and bring in my face a little bit. Now onto the goody good. I do have my highlighter here, which is by Ofra. This is the highlighter in Blissful. Hunties, is this pretty or what? Gorgeous, honeys, gorgeous. And this I did get from Oxley.com, as you guys see me in another video with it. I do use it on a daily basis. I love it so much. Kind of reminds me of my Becca Cosmetics one, which is a champagne pop, but a little bit in a different shade, and I love it. So as for their lipstick, it was kind of very sheer to me. It wasn't opaque, um, kind of reminded me of a lip gloss. Um, really wasn't my favorite. So I do apply some of my own kind of like touches to this, like my own lip liner. I did go into their lip paint and try that out, but for the most part, I really didn't care for the color too much. So I did use my MAC Spice Lip Liner on top of it. So yes, you guys, here we go. The colors are pretty. I do like the eyeshadow, the way it came out. I like the way the brown looks. Like it kind of like brings out the eye color in my contacts. So on top of the actual lipstick, you know, I still have it on. It was a little bit sheer, so I just went ahead and used one of my my MAC lipstick um, lip pencils, which, which is in the color Spice. They're kind of very similar in color, so I just gave it a little bit more punch to the color, you know, a little bit more opaqueness. But yeah, other than that, I mean, the makeup is great. The foundation is a little red tone for me I'm more or less like a yellow tone but you know once you put your highlight on and your um, contour on and stuff you really can't tell as long as you blend it in really well so that's what I was doing I made sure to blend in with my neck and my ears and my hairline so that way you don't see like the masking on my face from the foundation so 
For that color tan, it has more red tones and of course I'm more yellow tone. You never are going to get like this perfect 100% match for foundation. So you always got to work it out, girls. Like I have loads of foundation that I just work it out and I have found one that's just like the perfect color match for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. I hope it wasn't too long for you guys. Stay tuned for or just look down below. I'll link all of the information for you guys below. And on that note, I will see you guys in a soon to come video. I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in a soon to come video.